Good morning, everybody. So I thought it'd be really fun to take you guys along with me on another like vlogging day in my life. Like I said in the past, every day is different. So not sure exactly what this is going to look like, but that's kind of the fun in it, I think. It's about 7.45 right now, and I have a couple showrooms scheduled today. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me there. I just put these eye patches on um, right after I woke up. I keep these in my fridge so that they're super cooling when I wake up. I don't do these every morning, but just because I'm filming some stuff today, I figured I might as well. My skin is looking way more red in the monitor than it is in real life. It's really weird. Like my skin is actually really clearing up. These are just all leftover acne marks. Also, my face is so puffy in the morning. <laughs> Yikes, need to drink a big glass of water. I try to drink two or three of these before I leave the house in the morning. Not only is my face really puffy in the morning, but I just feel so groggy and dehydrated, obviously from the night before, so drink that. <laughs> As I was saying though, um, my skin looks way more red in the monitor. That's kind of horrifying how red it looks. But honestly, I have very few and far between breakouts these days. But now it's mainly just acne marks and hyperpigmentation. I asked you guys on my Instagram poll recently like what you've been using to clear up your skin. And so many of you recommended Curology. This sounds like a sponsorship, but I swear to God it is not. I just took your guys' recommendation. And first time users get this whole thing free, you just pay for shipping. So it was about $5 for shipping. This is the little bottle that I'm supposed to be using at night. So last night was the very first night that I used it. So I'm really excited to see my skin transform. I just brewed some coffee. So first thing I always do in the morning is drink coffee besides drinking water. <laughs> What is better than fresh, hot, brewed coffee in the morning? Sarah would say Diet Coke, but that ain't me. While I'm getting ready, I didn't always do this, but I found that it's really made a difference in my productivity levels during the day. So like being self-employed or working from home, it can be difficult to keep yourself accountable sometimes. I mean, you, there's no one else really keeping yourself accountable besides you unless you work with someone or have a manager. I've always been good at doing that, but I'd go through like ruts where I will just wear my sweats all day and don't do my makeup. And then it comes midday, you know, I had an idea for a video that I wanted to film or maybe I needed to reshoot something for Instagram or brand. It takes me, you know, however long to like throw some makeup on and then I don't like it or whatever. And then I feel like I just threw on makeup just for a photo and I don't know, it just seems kind of counterproductive. So what I like to do is just to get ready right in the morning, like right after I wake up. So I don't do like a full face of makeup every single day, but on the days that I am filming or going somewhere, have events, even if it's later in the day, I just want to do my makeup, do my hair, get ready, put on an actual outfit. So while I'm doing my makeup, I have to put on, well, I have to put on sunscreen, obviously, but I have to put on podcast or YouTube YouTube. So I have my laptop over here. It has to be something like productive or inspiring to me. Something that puts me in a good mood. There's so much like negativity I feel like on YouTube these days and just content out there and it's all like drama this, drama that, let's rip on this person. It's so easy to get sucked into. Like I'm someone who loves like Real Housewives, those kind of shows that's just drama, you know what I mean? But I just feel like, especially in the morning when I'm getting ready and I'm starting my day, I really want it to be positive. So I'm going to continue getting ready and watch some YouTube or a podcast and then I will see you guys in a little bit. I decided not to do my hair today because it's like fine. Um, I'm going to see, it's like 9.30 now. I haven't been getting ready all this time. I've been answering some emails as well, but I figured I would now figure out how long it's gonna take to get to West Hollywood because my appointment's not for an hour, but it always takes so long in the mornings. So 32 minutes. I'm gonna call my Uber probably around maybe 20 minutes. Normally Alex would take me to events and stuff, but I wanted him to stay here today because we actually have our credenza that's going to be delivered this morning and we were first on the list for delivery. So the earliest it's gonna be delivered is 10 a.m. I'm actually working with a furniture company. I'm working with quite a few actually, which I'm so grateful for. 
um, to help furnish our beautiful new space. I also ordered dining chairs this morning because World Market is having 40% off of their furniture until the end of the month, which is absolutely insane. I saved like $300 on dining chairs. I'm so glad I waited. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in my office room right now. We just moved in three weeks ago, so it's very under construction. Um, over here is all of the items that I'm Poshmarking. If you guys don't know what Poshmark is, it's an app and you can sell, buy and sell clothes. After traveling for six months, you really realize how much stuff you don't need and like clothes you don't wear. And that's kind of my next project. So this is the first um, batch of Poshmark that I've already put together that's going to go out today. Alex is going to bring that to the post office when I am at my showrooms today. Anyone who purchases things from my Poshmark closet is going to get free beauty products with every purchase. You guys, this, this is a big box. So I have so many beauty products. As I was going through my clothes, I was also purging like my beauty products. These are all obviously unused, unopened products that I get sent for like PR and stuff. And a lot of times I get duplicates and I just can't possibly use all of this stuff. So yeah, this is just like a real ass view of my room right now. It is very under construction <laughs> as you can see. So that was kind of like my last priority was to start Poshmarking because when we moved in here, if you guys watch my first moving vlog. I had boxes like everywhere in here. There were so many things to go through and I still have like one box over here and that far box is my last thing of like stuff that I need to just find a place for. Uh, but it's hard to find a place for things when you don't have like storage yet. So I'm working with a decorator for this home office. I'm gonna email her probably today, but I wanted to hold off on that because I just had boxes everywhere and I'm supposed to send her photos of like every angle of the room. And I was just like, this is way too much. Now that I've been here for three weeks, I really want to like spice up this office and make it feel inspiring, make it feel like somewhere I want to create. So as I was saying, I'm going to two showrooms today and I like to schedule showrooms on the same day if possible. I just like to pump them out at the same time because they usually are kind of like farther away. It takes forever to get places in LA. Basically a showroom is PR and media companies. So for bloggers, influencers, even celebrities use PR companies. They have a bunch of usually beauty brands, accessories, and clothing, mainly clothing. So what a PR company does is they'll contact us influencers and bloggers and be like, hey, do you want any new clothing coming up? We have a brand and here is their newest collection. So we can kind of like go through on our computer and sift through things that we want or would like to feature in an Instagram or blog post if there's something like, I know I'm working on holiday content coming up, which is what I'm doing now. Um, and if brand sends over some, you know, cool sequin dresses or something, I'm like, ooh, that would be amazing for a holiday party outfit blog post or something. So I'll pick out those items and then they'll ship it to us. A lot of the PR and media companies are actually based in LA or New York. So quite a few of them are here. And since I just moved back here, I decided to set up some appointments to actually go in the showroom instead of just having them ship it to me because I'm already here. So I might as well just go in. Okay, so this is what I threw together quickly last night. It is my favorite vegan leather pants. I will link them below if you guys are interested. They are fabulous. Just a plain white tee. My go-to necklace and my fun little booties. There's a fiasco going on in the kitchen. Fun. <coughs> so this is some stuff that was pulled. So cute. I love this material. You guys know I'm obsessed with teddy bear coat. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down. Yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking I, now I'm thinking I might have caught the June blues, yeah. I wanna try myself inside the juice, yeah. You know I keep on running from the truth. Is that not? I'm just a lonely fucking you. Now when I drive around. and I got those three things that I showed you. The sweater, the teddy bear jacket, and a really cute romper. I normally don't like go for rompers anymore. I'm kind of over them, but 
so that one was really cute so i'm excited to wear that i'm gonna go to a coffee shop that's like right next door to the showroom that i'm going to at one and then i'm just gonna head over there after after the second um, showroom that place was so cute and that showroom actually is done a little bit differently so I was able to like sift through all of the racks and anything I liked I would just pull and she would take a picture of and then she is going to contact the brands find the sizes and then they're gonna actually ship it to me directly so I pulled quite a few pieces from them probably like two to three items per brand so I'm really excited for those to arrive and so I can shoot them that's gonna be really fun Alex is coming in the door my hello now and the credenza arrived while I was gone and Alex set it up. Sorry, I have kind of weird lighting going on in this area of our home, but this is the credenza. Alex actually picked this one out because it has like the mountains and we thought it would go with like our California theme of our apartment. And this is really cool because we actually got to pick the legs, um, the color you could pick either black or gold. And then we got to pick either like walnut or birch, I believe, for the wood. And then they make it for you. I think it adds a nice little like pop of color to our place, but very subtly. Inside has some storage, which is awesome. We were thinking we were gonna put our drinkware and stuff inside of here so we can kind of store that away and then have more room in our kitchen. But my vision for this, since it's like a little like entryway thing, is to put a big circle mirror above here. I wanted to wait until this arrived before I could figure out like what size circle mirror I wanted, but it is definitely like shorter than I thought it was gonna be. So I think I can get like a pretty good size above there and then put a couple plants on her. I wanna put like a little photo of Alex and I, and then if we keep it in this space, definitely have to put some like plants around here to fill it up a little bit. Also, I've been trying to order our um, dining chairs all morning because I think I mentioned this earlier, but World Market is having 40% off until November 25th, I believe. Trying to snatch it up because we're saving like almost half, like $300 on these dining chairs. And I've been holding off buying dining chairs for a while because they are so expensive. So I'm going to try to do that. It wasn't working for some reason. So I need to call and figure out if I can like change my form of payment or something because daylight savings was yesterday. It gets dark so early, which is, the worst time of year for us YouTubers who have like no time to film. <laughs> I still have other things to do, like finish some blog posts as well. So I'm gonna start doing my emails and then we'll go from there. Thank you, you too. All right, just called World Market and got my payment to go through. I accidentally entered in the wrong expiration date. My bad. Okay, so I have like, 100 emails right now, not even joking, 101. I got a few things to do. Um, actually, I'm gonna start, I'm doing a branded Instagram story for a shoe brand. And I'm super excited because they have really cute, really cute shoes. In case you guys don't know, for brands, at least that I work with, we get to pick like what items we're actually promoting um, so that it fits with, you know, what I would actually wear and what I think you guys would also love. I picked out some like nude heels, some black heels, um, a stiletto booty, just a regular black booty. All my shoes are like neutral colors because if you guys couldn't tell, I am all about the neutrals. I think that'll be good. Those are super cute. I'm gonna continue checkout. I'm so excited. I need to send over some Instagram story analytics to a couple brand deals that I did recently. So um, how you do that is if you have like a Instagram business account, you can go into your 
insights right here and the story posts are actually like live for 14 days or we have access to the analytics for 14 days so um, it's really important to capture these analytics before the 14 day window is up or else they're like, it's like completely lost and sometimes I can go like against contract. So I always try to get this done like ahead of time, like as close to after 24 hours as possible. That's when they first um, become available. So the type of analytics that it covers is your number of impressions, your reach. Um, so it's basically like the number of accounts that we reached for that post. Um, the replies, the profile visits, the follows, and if you use a swipe up code, you can track how many people actually use swipe up. In case you guys didn't see it, this is the... <laughs> that was super fun, Alex and I filmed that when we were in Santa Monica. So almost immediately after I sent in over those analytics to the brand, I got an email from um, the like service that I did it through. That was like super fast, honestly. Um, but we just needed to send over an invoice for like a W9 and an invoice um, for the payment amount to like their billing email. So that's kind of where Alex comes in and he does more of the finance stuff. And um, so he will go do that through QuickBooks and whatnot. Can you send an invoice and um, I'll give you my W9, but could you send over the invoice to Calzedonia? Yeah. My eye is twitching. <laughs> Got an invite for like a brunch on Thursday and it's like brunch Thursday at Cafe Gratitude Beverly Hills, which is one of my favorite um, restaurants. It's like an all vegan place. I actually, fun fact, the little like grain bowl that I had today at Verve coffee um, was actually from Cafe Gratitude. Like they do little to-go things. Um, okay, so that sounds fun. I just need to double check my calendar to see if I can do that. Um, Shelby Church just invited me and Alex to go to Melba Wine Safari on Wednesday. It's now Monday, by the way. I also have this really cute little like marble um, dryeries board. It's so cute. I got this last year when I was trying to decorate my office and epically failed at doing that. I just like to have it like set up over here at my desk at all times. So I use my agenda to every single day to like put what I have to do for that day. But what I like to put on here is kind of like a look at my week, my upcoming week, um, instead of just like day by day. So if I have like an event coming up or um, something important that I need to remember to do for film. Um, also, like if I have like a last minute little content idea or something, I'll throw it on there. But I also have a little section for my goals for the month and I'll have like a fitness goal, personal goal, work goal. So my fitness goal for November is to work out five times a week because after traveling for six months, I literally did not work out. I maybe worked out like five times my entire six months being gone, which is so bad to admit. I wanted to work out five times a week and to help me do that, I am restarting the BBG Kayla Itzina's program. It's her like bikini body guide. I bought it like in college, actually my summer when I was living out here by myself because I needed like something to do. Um, and I really liked it and I loved how it made me feel. So going along with that, I want to try a new workout class because I've been so intimidated to do like boxing or do Pilates class. My third goal is to eat out two times a week max for like dinner and stuff. I don't really count coffee today. I don't know if I'm really counting that, but obviously that was working, <laughs> that was eating out. But wanted to do that for my health, obviously, because when you're eating out, you just never know what they're exactly putting in your foods. They always load up on the oils and they load up on like the sodium and stuff. And that's just something I do not need. I'm already bloated AF. I don't know why. But also it's just like, it's such a money guzzler. And right now I'm really trying to focus on my apartment. I don't know if every week it's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try. And then I also wanna post one to two YouTube videos a week. My last goal is to write out an editorial content calendar for holiday and regular content for the rest of 2018. I have a lot of fun stuff planned already for like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and just like gift guides and stuff. I have so much holiday content coming for you guys. And like I showed you earlier when I was at the coffee shop, I asked you guys um, on a poll yesterday, like just what kind of holiday content you guys wanna see from me. I've been planning that and I need to put all my ideas that you guys gave me and my ideas and put them on a content, just like editorial calendar so I can see like what I'm posting through the rest of the month. I'm down to 92 emails. <laughs> I made progress. I also kind of want to take 
in Instagram today. It's like four o'clock right now, so it's gonna be dark within the hour. <laughs> so if I wanna do that, I need to go do that like ASAP. A lot of you guys ask me who takes my photos. Alex actually takes like 99.9% .9 of all of my Instagram photos. Um, he is amazing. So we'll probably just like go somewhere around here if I end up doing that. So a lot of you guys always wanna know like what goes into a day in my life when it actually comes to working. So a lot of it is just me like chilling working on my computer, which is not like super exciting. It's just real life, you know? Do you guys see like this lighting change? It's already getting so much darker. We only have like a little bit of daylight left. What time is it? 4.36, yeah, I think the sun's probably gonna go down at like five, honestly. Oh, it says sun setting is now. Perfect, love that. I'm just going to run outside with Alex real quick and take a photo of my outfit because this is like what I wear pretty much every single day of life. Love it. And I wanted to wear these shoes. Let's see if I can get them on before the sun sets. That'll be the real test. Why am I so bad at being a girl? I did it. I'm gonna just take it on my iPhone. Um, I recently upgraded to the 8 Plus. Love like how good the quality is compared to my old 6 Plus. It's like so insane how much better it is. So I've been testing like taking some photos on my Instagram lately with my iPhone. A while back I vowed to never do iPhone photos again because I felt like it was super lazy. I don't know, I'm really struggling with like going back and forth between um, if I wanna do iPhone photos or if I wanna like every day like little snapshots, you know, of my just day to day life or if you guys wanna see more curated. You guys seem to be pretty like half halfsies on that. But um, I don't know, I feel like I can do both, you know, I feel like I can do those fun curated creative style shoots and I can also do like my everyday life and stuff. So it just kind of depends, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys have a preference between just seeing regular iPhone photos or if you guys want to see more style John. So my battery died while I was outside taking photos, but I just came in and edited the photos really quickly on my phone. Normally I edit all my photos on Lightroom on my desktop computer. I know you guys always ask me how I edit my photos, but if I'm taking it on my phone, sometimes it just doesn't look good editing it in Lightroom because most of my presets and editing is like for raw files. So bigger files that I shoot on my DSLR. Usually I will just edit my photos that are like iPhone just right on my phone here since it's easier. I use the Lightroom mobile app, but I also use Visco. So I used both of those apps to edit this, but it is kind of plain and I feel, I don't know. I, there's something about just posting this that I just feel like, I don't know, is that interesting? But I got the idea to transfer it to my iPad and like draw. You guys always ask me that too, like how I do all my little doodles on my photos. I usually use my Apple Pen and my iPad. So I just grabbed my iPad because I took it out the other day um, for my backpack. And look at it. It's completely shattered on the top. It's like straight up like someone stepped on it. And I'm really freaking pissed because I use this so much and I don't know who did that. Alex swears he didn't do it. I can, you know, still draw and everything on here. It doesn't affect that part, but that's like a gnarly dent. So I don't know. I'm so sad, but like, I don't want to pay the money to fix it. You know what I mean? Like if the rest of it works, it's just like aesthetically really annoying. There are worse things to complain about, but I am going to edit this right now on my iPad. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Sometimes I go through a whole doodle and spend like two hours and then I don't even use it. So I like to add doodles to my photos when I feel like it's plain or if I just need to add something, something extra to it. Um, I like to play around. Sometimes I don't use it like I said, but I don't know. It's just kind of fun to like draw. So we'll see if I like it. <laughs> Super simple, but I feel like it just like adds a little 
A little something extra, don't you think? <laughs> Name that movie, please, in the comments below. All right, so that is what the photo looks like on my phone. Sometimes it looks different, like when I'm looking at it on my phone, I'm like, oh, that looks like not as good as I thought it was going to look on my iPad. But I like it. I do need to straighten this photo. So like you guys can see, it's like a pet peeve of mine if the uh, horizon is not straight. So you can see it's a little tilted. What I do is I just click the adjust button here right in Instagram. It has these like little guides so you can see what is gonna be level. Will that suffice? I think so. And then a lot of times when I bring it into Instagram, I like to sharpen it just a little bit because it kind of loses its oomph a little bit. I don't know why. Boom, boom. Unsharp, sharp. Now I just need to think of a caption. Normally I like to think of my captions ahead of time and I'll write them in my notes. I just remembered that I haven't done a like to know it post in a while, a reward style post. So I figured I'm gonna look up this jacket and see if it is linkable. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about <laughs> on my Instagram. I sometimes post um, like my outfit photos with a link at the bottom. So here's an example. I posted this photo a couple weeks ago. Instagram captions like don't actually utilize the links. You can't like link a URL in a Instagram caption for some reason, but anyway, so I have that little link at the bottom. So if you're on your computers, you can type in that URL right there. If I type that into my browser right now, all of the, like this post is going to pop up and then it will have all of the items from this post that I linked for you guys. So it'll have my sweater in a couple different colors. It'll have maybe my belt and my skirt and maybe my purse. I can't remember what I exactly linked, but I try to link similar pieces for you guys just in case something sells out or other pink sweaters that I've been loving or chunky sweaters or if things come in other colors like this sweater does. And that's just an easy way for you guys to shop my posts because otherwise I'd be answering so many comments all day about like where every single piece is from. And yes, sometimes I will post like a photo like this and just straight up um, tag the brand. But one that doesn't tell you the exact like style it is cause like girlfriend denim, there's so many denim jeans out there. So it's like, where did she actually get this from? What exact style is it? You know what I mean? And another reason why it's nice is because I earn like a very small commission. It's like if you bought something through my post, I will get a small commission from that. And it adds up. I mean, like I don't do it all the time. I'm not like the best blogger out there, but it is nice. And I'll do that for my YouTube videos. I also utilize it on my blog as well. So it's just like another way um, to have like a small revenue stream, I guess. I always try to have like revenue coming in from a bunch of different um, avenues just because you never know what's gonna happen. And if you guys aren't like into like typing in the link on the browser, I always recommend that you guys get the Like to Know It app. And it's super easy. You can just screenshot my posts and they'll always pop up or you could follow me on the app and they'll always pop up and it's just really easy for you to always shop my outfits all in one place. So you can search my name, for example, right here on the app and all of the posts that I've ever done with like to know it will pop up here. So it's like, if you wanna shop this outfit, you guys can just go right down here and this is what I've linked for you guys. And then if you just like click each item, it'll bring you to the site so you can shop that. That is the Like to Know It app and my username is the same on Instagram, so it's Caitlin B. So if you guys wanna follow me over there and also you can just literally take a screenshot of my Instagram, it'll pop up in the app. It's so crazy and weird, technology is freaky. And I'm gonna show you guys the last way you can easily shop my Instagram and my outfits as well. Okay, so if you guys head on over to the CaitlinB.com, you guys can see I have home, about, style, lifestyle, travel, shop my Instagram, boom, 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 right here. And if you click that, it is linked to my reward style. So it's the same thing as the app and you can just easily shop my posts all right here. So you can see I've posted the sweater, the skirt, um, the shoes I was wearing that day in two different colors. If you just click that item, for example, it'll bring you to the site where you can buy that skirt. Super easy, those are just a couple different ways that you guys can shop my Instagram. But anyway, I was about to post this Instagram and I decided I'm gonna see if any of these pieces, well, I've already linked my pants and my shoes, but I'm gonna see, since I just got this today, if this is linkable, because not every site is like integrated with reward style, so you can't always link every single piece that you're wearing. Okay, they do have a Teddy Bomber. Oh my gosh, they have so many colors. What, they have this in black, white, red, army, that's kind of fun. Lilac, pink, and green. So I'm gonna link like, all different colors for you guys. A part of reward style. Oh, 
You scare me so badly. Alex is outside. I hate him so much. Okay, I just posted. I'm just going to reply to comments. I try to respond to as many as possible. I personally have always like really liked to chat with you guys ever since the beginning, honestly, like of my YouTube channel. I just love replying to comments seeing what you guys are up to, trying to help you guys out if you have a question. And then it's like 6.30 right now. So after I do that, it'll be like seven. And I'm either gonna eat, um, Alex made some soup tonight, or else I'm gonna work out. I have to get in my workout, my BBG day three. It's gonna be the legs, um, I think it's the legs one today, which is ugh, always so not fun. And then it's gonna be really close to when my friend Justine is coming over. She is my dancer friend that I went to high school. She moved out here um, to pursue dancing and she's like killing it. Um, I've showed you guys her before. She is um, like on tour with Pink right now. They have a break right now. So she like doesn't have her apartment here anymore since she's like touring for like literally a year and they just got renewed for another year. So she has nowhere to stay right now and she's just kind of been like couch surfing. So she's gonna stay with us for at least like three days. But anyway, I'm gonna reply to comments right now, work out, then eat, and then clean, yay. So Alex just made some Tuscan white bean soup. He makes this pretty often and it's so good. Ollie's also trying to get on Alex's lap. No pup. Like how cute this little setup is. Also you guys, I showed you earlier, we ended up actually moving the credenza over there and moving the bookshelf into the bedroom and it looks a lot better. And then Alex hung up this little thing that I had up in our old apartment. I'm excited to show you guys how I style this and how like what we're putting in there and everything, but that'll be a different video. So you guys gotta wait, but I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go do my workout. Loud help me. I feel like I've drank so much water today. But it's never enough. Alex is watching The Big Lebowski out there, so that's <laughs> super loud. Um, so I will keep this short, but I just, um, after dinner, I stuck to my word and I did my BBG week one day three workout. Again, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I will link um, her workout guide down below if you guys wanna check it out. I highly recommend it, especially if you're a beginner for working out or like need some kind of structure. Um, it's really good. I don't know if it's good for like people who've been working out a long time and like are very advanced, but at least for us beginners, it is really good and it kicks my booty every time. Today was like leg day and it literally left me so wobbly like halfway through, <laughs> it was so bad. I just got my cozies on. Boom, boom, boom. Literally my favorite part of the day. Back in my cozies. Look who's here. <laughs> I love Justine. Let me know if um, we should do a video where Justine teaches me choreography. It's super cool. <laughs> she needs no help. <laughs> no. Nope. I'm like, I'd be teaching you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm amazing. I'm homeless. We're happy to give her a little roof over her head for the next few days. It's gonna be so much fun, a little slumber party. We're just gonna hang out and uh, catch up, chit chat, and yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!